Hey guys, it's Jay the Vaping Guy. I'm here to do another video. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a review on Switch. The Ego Vision 3 Ohm version 3, which is also known as a Stardust. Now, you can get this at a lot of different places. I got mine at jrcustomturning.com. Now, I did a video last night, and, and as everybody who's watched that knows, I did it nine times. Um, I had a couple of too many errors. One of the errors is I actually typed his name, uh, the name of the website down wrong. There is no S to it. So I do apologize, Switcher. I will change that uh, as best I can um, in the, the write-up below it that it's not J JR Custom Turnings, but it's JR Custom Turning. Anyways, um, this is the Ego Vision, the 3 ohm. Um, I am using this on a lava tube. Now, this is not designed for a lava tube. It does not come with an adapter. Now, at the very tip here, you'll see that that looks all really, you know, nice and clear and clean and whatnot. It, it's really, that that is an adapter. That's a 510 to Ego adapter. You can get that a bunch of different places. You can get those at uh, jrcustomturning.com. See if I can pull that out. You do need to pick one of these up if you're using it on anything other than an Ego style battery. I can't get that off right now. I've wedged that in there nice and tight because it's the only thing I use it on. Anyways, so let's start off with what I like about this. I love that I can vape this for a week and a half and it hasn't lost anything. Um, to me, yes, this is a clear, this is a uh, tank atomi uh, cardamizer. To me, this is really just a elevated atomizer. Um, there's nothing more to this than what's in any other uh, atomizer, um, except for there's a tank around the outside of it. Other than that, it's no different than any, like it's, it's a regular atomizer that's right there. The rest of what's outside is a juice holder, which is really nice, you know? Um, I also like that uh, I use, I make my own juice, and this juice is a, 20 pg 80 vg percent by percentage um, juice which means that this juice is very very thick i don't know if you can see that but it coats the walls really nice and it you know doesn't really move all that quickly so this is a high vg juice which means very vis uh, very thick not very viscous so on a lot of Cardos that I've had in the past and a lot of Clearos I've had in the past, um, as soon as you get to a heavy uh, VG, you got to take very small, short pulls. This one here, you don't have to worry about that. As long as there's fluid coming to those wicks, those wicks are doing fine. Um, the flavor is great. Like I said, this is a juice that I make myself. I know it. It's very, very nice. Um, <clears throat> and you get the full flavor. You get the mintiness. You get the chocolate that I, that I like. Um, so there's no problem with the flavor. None whatsoever. Um, you can get uh, the throat hit is there. Um, you very rarely get a dry hit. The only time I find that there's a, ever a dry hit is when you get down to about, uh, you know, down towards where the main base hits the bottom. There's just a little bit of dredges. That's the only time I find that you get a uh, dry hit. And that's just because by then there's not enough fluid hitting the, the two little uh, prongs of uh, wicking material to draw in. Minor inconvenience. If you're using the same juice regularly, all you got to do is just unscrew the top. Pull it off, pour some juice in. If you're using thick juice, you have to pour it slowly because it's a, it's a narrow space, and it pours down the side. No problem. Put that back on, and there's a little screw top. Screw it nice and tight, and that will seat on the rubber gasket that you can see over here, um, that white, that clear pla uh, gasket above the wicking. Um, like I said, it vapes like a champ. It's insane. Um, I'm really loving this. Now, I'm going to preface what I'm about to say. Um, this is my own fault, and this actually just happened in the last few minutes. Um, mine actually has a leak. Now, I say this is my own fault because 
This is the second time I've attempted this uh, video, and the first time, long story short, I hammered on it with a screwdriver, and the internal uh, structure slid up. And when it did that, there are little minor spiral crackings, which don't have not yet, prior to this, had any issue. Um, those cracks got a little bit larger, and that leak started just a few minutes ago. Um, prior to that, these spider lines that had been there for since pretty well the day, first day I had them um, didn't have any problem at all. Um, it's entirely uh, my fault on this one, so I, I do not fault I can vape on this one. <laughs> you abuse your damn thing, it's going to break. And that's what I did. When you're hammering on it, you know, dang, 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 dang. Because um, I, I just wanted to seat it differently. It wasn't seating the way I wanted to. And rather than do it the right way, I hammered at it. Dumbass here. Anyways, so, you know, it does have now a minor, minor little leak that I will seal up and, and it'll be fine. Um, but we'll talk about that. And this is something that's come up uh, a number of times. It does develop little spider wires, spider lines, you know, spider cracks, whatever. Um, and they have not, until I foolishly hammered on this thing, had any issue. I have had this thing on its side. I purposely put it down the last two nights on its side with the leak with the where the crack is face down and uh, nothing the only thing that that has done to date is when I give it a good pull air will pull in it doesn't affect anything else it doesn't change the flavor it doesn't make anything bad it just pulls in um, but yeah so I like the juice I like how it hits um, this is, and this is one that's, uh, that not, not everybody is really aware of, this is actually a rebuildable atomizer. If you take this whole thing apart, take the top cap off, take the bottom cap off, pull the centerpiece out, pull the pin out of that, you can remove the atomizer. And if you have Canthal or, or uh, Nichrome, you can build yourself a new, and, and wicking material, you can build yourself a new atomizer. Put it in there, one on the outside of the rubber, one on the inside of the rubber, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. And now you've got yourself a rebuildable, reusable, time and time again, atomizer. Um, the spider lines, the cracks, they have not, to date, and I will double check after the video, after me hammering on this like an idiot, um, they have not, to date, gone below the ring. They stopped right at the ring. So that means that after I put a little bit of, a, of an epoxy seal on the outside just to seal that in, there's going to be no problem. Um... So you're getting great flavor, you're getting great throat hit, you're getting huge clouds. Um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this atomizer. Now, what do I not like about this? Um, what I don't like about this is it has spider lines. That just bugs me. Um, now, this is very, very, very thick plastic. I would say that the thickness of the plastic is almost a millimeter thick, um, which means that this is not going to be like a CE2 or, or any other those those other ones that have, you know, thin plastic like this that you can, you know, squeeze and, and, and break, uh, and, and traditionally does. This is very sturdy. Um, you've got a screw on top, so when you're pulling off the top and bottom, you're not putting tension on anything else. Um, the, those metal panels at the top and bottom really give it some s real structure. But they don't look nice. The other thing I don't like about this, and if you look, ah, if you look over here, um, you will see some lines. I will try to get the video to show off on this one here. You'll see its measurements. Problem is, those measurements start right here at the very bottom. Where does the gasket start? Up. About two millimeters above that, the gasket starts. What does that mean? It means that these measurements are virtually useless. Um, you cannot use them to accurately gauge how much juice is in there or how much juice you've gone through. Um, you can get, you can use it to vaguely guess how much you've used. You know, from the two mil to the four mil is probably only one mil. From four to four till eight is probably four mil. From eight till one point two is probably another four mil. From one point two to one point six is another four mil, and then it tapers in. If those numbers had been raised up, even probably two, maybe three millimeters higher. The bottom line would have been above the seal, and you'd still be a little bit off. That's my only gripe about the, the, the measurements. Right now, the measurements mean nothing to me. I haven't used them. I haven't really read them, but they're there. 
and, and the intention for that was really good, but it just the uh, how it came about it came about wasn't all that great. Um, what else do I not like about this? Honestly, not much. Um, it comes apart. It's rebuildable. Um, I have yet to rebuild it. I have taken it apart to clean it a couple of times. Um, it's I'm a week and a half in. Um, I'm not expecting to have to rebuild it or even consider rebuilding it for another week. Um, most Cardos, by, in my opinion, even Clearos, um, within four or five days, you start to notice the taste changes because you got, you know, batting around it. Even the tanks, you know, eh, it just doesn't, doesn't do the job. I really like this. Um, the only thing that threw me off, and you can see it on the image over here, I will eventually get this right. Um, in the image over here, you can see that just below the plastic uh, cap, there's one visible and the other one's on the other side, wicking material. Um, my first thought before I bought one of these was, I'm not going to get it because I don't want to do this all the time. They touch the walls, and I didn't realize this, but by touching the walls, whenever you tip it up, as soon as the juice comes up against it, it sucks it in. Um, if I rebuild this, I may or may not, I may leave one touching at the top, and I may leave, have one loop down into the tank, just to see if it makes a difference. I don't know if it will, but that's my thought. Um, all in all, this is a really well-constructed, solid tank. Um, it is really, really flavorful. You don't get any flavor drop. Um, I am, you know, I'm going to treat it like I treat an atomizer. I'm going to clean it regularly every week or two. I'm going to take it all apart, run it through, uh, flush it through a, uh, a bath, and let it dry out, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, if you want one of these, and you live in Canada, you can get it from every shop under the sun. And I mean every shop. I got mine, however, and yes. First of all, I changed it. I purchased, not purchased, with a C. But I purchased this product from www.jrcustomturning.com. I did purchase this. This was not given to me. I have not been asked to do a review. I chose to do this on my own accord. I'm not getting reimbursed for doing this. And uh, just for you guys know, I've been watching this. There is no leak. That leak must have been just, maybe it was something just dropped on the side. It looked like it was leaking. Um, this is my own product. I am not affiliated. <laughs> um, Switcher is a good bud. Uh, I have a lot of respect for him, but I get nothing for doing these. I, I, that's important for me to, to let you know that this is a, something that I'm doing. Um, I paid $6 for this. And I would pay another $6 for this any day. Um, I would pay a little bit more than that, honestly. It, it's really a great device. It's a great atomizer. Uh, you can't complain. It holds roughly, I believe it holds uh, 1.6 mil. So you do refill it two or three times throughout the day. whoop de doo I really like it. It's a great atomizer. Everybody should try one out. Anyways, this is Jay the Vaping Guy. Have a great day.